hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so today we are going to start a new series of videos on a new subject okay a new topic so the subject is uh, optoelectronics so we'll be discussing about optoelectronics devices sensors systems and communication techniques so so the next uh, few videos will be related to optoelectronics around uh, 10 videos then we'll again uh, put some more videos related to it so the first question that uh, will be coming to your mind is what is optoelectronics and from the name itself you can make out that what it actually means so optoelectronics is uh, the field of science and technology which is formed by the union of two separate fields okay optics and electronics okay so optics and electronics combined together forms a new field a new subject a separate subject okay which is very vast in itself it has various topics associated with it okay so it, this this whole field is uh, is very vast and it has a lot of concepts lot of uh, things associated with with it so which we'll try to cover so the term optoelectronics as i said it is made from the union of optics and electronics branch so basically it means interaction of light with electrons okay so the it is a it is a branch which is still in the development phase it, a lot of uh, research is going on okay in this field and uh, it has uh, brought a revolution okay in the field of uh, signal processing in the field of data communication in industrial in instrumentation for sensing measurement in all the fields okay so how to utilize light for various purposes okay uh, as a, re a replacement for electric not as a replacement but how can we use light in the same way as we are doing the electrical signals voltage and current so that is a very interesting uh, thing so which is still in the this this subject is still in the development phase a lot of research is is being carried out and it has a lot of scope in it okay so the applications of optoelectronics uh, the devices and systems so first as i said uh, it can be used for information sensing and detection that is in the field of sensors and transducers for sensing various parameters then uh, for data transfer okay uh, from one point to another for uh, information display okay as a substitute for electrical signal for information amplification for generating signals okay generation of information and for storing data and to retrieve it as per our wish okay information storage and retrieval so for these applications basically it is uh, it can be used and there is a, there are a lot of other applications these are just the uh, you, can, you can say the tip of the iceberg kind of thing okay there are many countless other applications uh, that can uh, that can be accomplished okay that can be uh, used uh, that can be opt optoelectronics can be used for okay so now we'll discuss about the basic uh, optoelectronics system okay the uh, how this the system is utilized okay a basic optical communication system so it will give us a basic idea how this thing works so that we we understand uh, how this this uh, thing it it works okay so this is a basic optical communication system which is used for uh, you can say sensing or transduction purposes and also for communication purposes 
so you can see these blocks okay uh, starting from the top information source block electrical transmitter modulator block the optical source block then we have the optical fire cable optical detector demodulator and destination so this three blocks at the top they form the sender unit okay the transmitter this is the medium the optical fiber cable is the transmission medium and this detector demodulator and destination it is the receiving unit the destination now we'll discuss these blocks one by one so first one is the information source so it is similar to the uh, general communication system that we have already discussed but here the difference is that the information uh, it can be of any type it can be any physical signal or electrical signal physical signal means non electrical signal it can be pressure temperature velocity uh, humidity whatever it can be then it is converted into electrical using suitable transduction techniques but the electrical signal that is voltage or current is not uh, transmitted okay here the optical source comes into play so the optical source it is based on the principle of electro optic conversion okay Elect so what it does is that it converts the electrical signal from the information source that is whether it is a voltage or current it converts that voltage or current into light signal so the commonly used optical sources are uh, led light emitting diodes and laser which is light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation we will be discussing about those things the the led and laser itself are very vast concepts okay it will take many many videos and lectures to cover these things so we'll be discussing them so for now you understand that led and laser are the two basic optical sources and uh, they are used to convert electrical signal that is voltage or current into light signals okay after uh, it is the electrical signal is converted into light signal it is then fed to the the electrical transmitter and modulator block okay so what it does is that as per the measurement okay this information source depending on the physical parameter which is being measured whether it is pressure temperature um any any uh, any other variable let's say velocity let's say displacement uh, anything De according to that it changes it alters or modulates some parameter or characteristic of the light signal the light wave such as wavelength frequency amplitude anything okay according to the measurement okay according to the signal in the information source so the electrical transmitter modulator performs that change that modulation okay change in the wavelength frequency or amplitude of the light signal okay after that modulation is done the signal is transmitted across the optical fiber cable okay so the optical fiber cable is the medium okay for transmission of the light signal again the optical fiber fiber optics is a separate topic in itself okay it it is a it is again a huge huge and vast concept okay fiber optics so the fiber optics uh, what it does it it carries the modulated light wave through multiple total internal reflections we we know the phenomena of total internal reflection okay so through multiple total internal reflection the modulated light wave it is sent from the sender side to the receiver side again at the receiver side we have the three blocks which perform the opposite of what these three blocks at the top do so what the optical detector it reconverts okay the light signal the incoming light signal from the optical fiber into its original form that is electrical signal 
so for that various uh, photo detectors or optical detectors are used for example photo diodes photo multipliers uh, photo conductors photovoltaic cells uh, photo conductive cells many things are used there are various uh, uh, photo detectors that are used so they convert the light signal into the uh, equivalent electrical signal the original electrical signal that is the voltage or current then we have is the electrical receiver or demodulator so this extracts the original modulated information okay we just discussed that the transmitter side at the sender side it 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 modulates some parameter that is wavelength frequency or amplitude depending on the information the measurement the receiver or demodulator extracts the original modulating signal that information okay so here also various techniques are used so this is just the basic thing okay how this thing works and then it is uh, sent it is given to the receiver okay the destination where it can be used for various purposes okay so this is the basic layout of the optical communication system now this whole opto electronics is all about discussing each block there will be something about uh, the optical sources led la laser then about fiber optics then about photo detectors then uh, about the other related things so this is built of these individual units which we are going to discuss okay about in detail so now let us uh, discuss about uh, why these opto electronics of the opto uh, optical communication system is uh, is in so much demand so the light signals as uh, you see this is the main source of uh, data transfer okay from sender to receiver so this is uh, immune to noise distortion and electromagnetic interference okay the light signals so it has high immunity to noise and electromagnetic interference that's the first point then it has very high speed and bandwidth so bandwidth is uh, high means much more information carrying capacity than the electrical signals okay and also its speed is high so efficient transmission and communication is achieved then another reason is that two light signals or multiple light signals they do not interfere among each other okay so that is another reason and uh, another important reason is that mostly semiconductor devices are used in optical communication systems and it is very easy to use semiconductor devices along with the optical devices okay so that is another reason all the various uh, devices that we have discussed here starting from the modulator the optical source the fiber optics everything it involves semiconductors so for that reason this is uh, this is very easy to use semiconductors with optical devices then we have the optical fiber cables which is the transmission medium they are of small size they occupy less space as compared to the uh, metallic cables okay the coaxial cable twisted pair cable okay and also power loss and transmission loss is less in optical fibers as compared to the metallic cables and also data security or signal security is very high in optical communication okay it is not uh, uh, easy to uh, leak data or to hack data you in optical communication then we have uh, is this, there are certain disadvantages also associated with it is that one important disadvantage is that this technology is still in the development phase so there is uh, a lot of uh, chances of uh, this uh, thing uh, for one reason is that it is very expensive okay the optoelectronic sensors devices they are very expensive 
okay very expensive to purchase and also the installation process it is also very difficult and complicated and the these devices are very fragile and delicate okay to handle and it requires trained and skilled personnel to handle and operate these systems okay it requires training them the training costs are involved and a lot of other things are involved so these are some of the disadvantages of optoelectronics devices so here we have discussed uh, in general the basic things related to optoelectronics starting from the basic definition the scope or application the basic overview about the optical communication system its working principle the advantages and disadvantages so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much